What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis is here. We are back in the world of Dawn of the Void, and now that we've gotten some of the stuff that was kind of blocking us earlier sorted out, we are going to go ahead and take a quick dive into, um, what do you call it? Uh, whoops. Into, there it is, Agricraft. Uh, basically, all we really needed for Agricraft to get started was the feathers, which uh, we, we had to mercilessly murder Gertrude for, uh, and, and that's that's all. That's all Dark Osto's fault. I, I had I had nothing to do with it. You know, I, I begged him. I begged him to to you know not force me to kill that innocent duck. But you know, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I, I I didn't make the rules. I didn't make the rules. So all right, let's make this right here. So we do need these sticks, and I'm gonna need four seeds. So we're gonna leave one here. Take the rest of those. Uh, there we go. That should give us everything we need for that. Yep, there we go. And now we need the seed Elizer type deal, which means we are going to need a little bit of glass, which thankfully isn't too hard to get. It's just normal glass uh, sheared. Uh, we should have some sand around here somewhere. I know we've got some. Or we did. Uh, you know, I'm curious, can red sand be cooked into glass, I'm wondering? Uh, it does look like it can be used for crop mutation, and it can be used for smelting. So, we do need, what, uh, is it six? Yeah, we need six, which we just so happen to have right there. Uh, and I'm just going to start spam clicking this here in just a second. That's going to cycle out. There it goes. Uh, I just realized that's going to give us clear glass, not the kind of glass we're looking for. So, where did we put that furnace that we had a while back? I bet it's in here. There she, there she blows! All right, and then we need a little bit of coal. Not a lot, just a little. In fact, one will probably do it. There we go. And we'll set you right here. Boom. And one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if one coal is actually going to be enough. That's that's quite a bit of quite a bit of glass. In all honesty. All right. So while we're waiting for that to cook, let's go ahead and make the other piece that we need. So we do need some kind of slab it doesn't have to be any specific slab i don't think uh, so we will try using uh, cobblestone slabs i'm hoping that'll work uh, and then we're going to need some wooden slabs which again not a problem there we go that should give us those uh then we have the sticks i believe we have sticks on us we do okay perfect and we have three of the glass things we need and again we need the glass sheet which is going to require six so Hopefully that didn't take too long. I guess I actually cordoned that off just about right. Uh, looks like we have just about all that we needed there. Uh, ferrous metal, good, good, good. Wow, that was that's just from us screwing around. Just just in the the past two adventures. I mean, it's it's not a ton of materials, but you can see that now that we can fly and now that we can get around, you know, a lot easier, we are producing a, a lot more than we were previously. Uh, okay, it's going to be a butthole. I may be missing something. I think it's like that. I am missing uh, the other plank that we need. There we go. Boom, boom, done. That should have worked. Oh, did I not put the glass in? Guess I didn't. There we go. All right. Uh, I've already pre-made uh, pre this area or laid it out, whatever you want to call it. We're going to put that there. We're going to put this inside. And that should be really all we need for the basics. Now, I am going to need more sticks. Uh, we do have plenty there. Uh, and then I guess we'll do... I guess we'll just sort out these seeds real quick. Okay, that is a 111. And that's going to make all of these a 111, I bet. Yeah. So those should all stack now. All right, so the goal at this point is to basically just quad breed. Um, we need to make some more sticks real quick. There we go. And then we just do boom, 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 boom. And then I grab the seeds. And we won't be using all of these, but we'll start off with some of them. There we go. And then in here, we've got our little watering can. Now, the reason I use this setup, now we got to get these guys maxed out first. Uh, the reason I use this setup here is it does allow you to crossbreed the whole way. Um, the problem with it is instead of just using two, which may be equally as fast, you're using four. So it just kind of depends on your personal preference. With this method, you do kind of occasionally have to break all of them and then recycle. But it, it usually takes me about 10 minutes to make a 10 of 10 uh, with this route. Uh, your mileage, of course, may vary. All right, so we go boom and we go boom. And then we just kind of keep watering and hope for the best. 
No weeds. Boom. And we got weeds. Again. We just basically keep doing this. Come on, no weeds. Why are you giving me weeds? You guys are a bunch of buttholes. Try it again. There we go. Alright, so we break that seed. We come over here. And remember, we were dealing with 111s before. Uh, I am going to trash these seeds. Now, the reason I'm trashing these seeds is this process is going to produce a ridiculous amount of seeds. So we're going to break this one right here. Plant you. Now, we have a 212, which is technically 100% better than the other one because it's got a growth rate that's double and a strength rate that's double. But uh, in all honesty, it's, it's only marginally better than the other ones. Uh, but we do still have 1-1 one, one crops. So the nice thing about this one is I can actually shear this now if I wanted to, and we could technically replant all of these with 2-1-2s. Two, in my experience, we just ignore it, kind of treat it like it was doing what it was doing, and then we just replace them as we go. So you can see we just went from a 2-1-2 two, two, and a bunch of 1-1s one, to a 4-4-3, four, four, which is kind of ridiculous. So we're going to come over here to this side now. We're going to plant right here, and then there's the 4-4-3. Four, four, Plant you there, and we're going to get rid of the other seeds, because, again, useless. Well, they're not useless, they're just not... Like I said, we're going to end up on this process, we want to eventually get to a 10-10-10, and anything that kind of delays that process, the, the seeds we will never use. And as far as I know, there's nothing really we can do with those seeds, so we might as well get rid of them, because we already have, like, a ridiculous inventory problem. Okay, we got weeds. Now, I believe as the strength goes up, the chance of getting weeds reduces kind of exponentially, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's see what we got here. This one is going to be a 244. Now, this one over here is a 443. So basically, this one mated with one of these guys. And that's the problem with using this method, is you will kind of have setbacks as it breeds with the wrong setup. Now the easy solution to fix that, if that's something that you wanna do, is to break all of these real quick and then get, I think they're, well let me look, I think they're called clippers? Yeah, clippers. So you need an iron ingot shears and two sticks. This is honestly the best way to go about it. Uh, it does take, I'm not gonna say it takes you longer, but it does take a couple seconds of extra work on your end. Uh, the 212 we're actually going to get rid of because we don't need it. We're going to get rid of you, and we're going to get rid of you. We're going to resort. Uh, let me put these in there real quick. Okay, good, good, good. And then I just need to kind of store this stuff in the junk chest for the time being. Perfect. Okay, so we need to find our shears. There they are. Uh, I need, what is it, uh, two sticks and an iron ingot. Uh, I guess that means I'm going to need you two back, and then the iron ingot will find... Right. Was that iron? No, that's Envar. There we go. Okay. Now, this does mean we're going to lose our shears, but that's not a big deal. That's interesting. I don't know why it's not working for us. Hopefully, the recipe is... Oh, it's because I don't have any fucking sticks. There we go. All right, so now that I've got this, I've got clippers. Now, keep in mind, um, with Agricraft, the way it works... Clippings are based kind of on the production value of the parent. And what I mean by that is this is a 443. So that means the parent's decently strong, but that doesn't mean, like right here, that one grew instantly, that one grew instantly. They don't always grow instantly like that. Sometimes it'll take multiple clippings to get them all working. So keep that in mind. And the nice thing, though, is it doesn't destroy the plant. So you can basically continuously do that over and over and over again until all of them are. So like, for instance, let's say you get a 2-2-2 and you go to plant it and they don't plant. Then you can just grow the original crop back up, re-get clippings and try again until you get all the ones that you want grown. Uh, grown. So we've just about got all of them back up. That's a 4-4-3. Come on now. And we'll go just like this. And getting weeds. That's a bummer. I don't want weeds. Weeds are bad. Weeds are bad, I'm okay. More weeds. Now, supposedly, the further along we get, i.e. the higher up we get, the less of a chance of getting weeds we have. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate. I, I really don't know, but it, it does seem... It, it is annoying. I'm not going to lie with that. All right, we'll put that in there. And we now have a 663. Perfect. 
Now, alternatively, if you don't want to do it this method, um, the other option that you can do is to just continuously uh, growing off of the other ones. And most of the time, you'll end up with a pretty good hybrid. And it doesn't take too terribly long to grow them back. Um, I'm doing it this method just to kind of hopefully speed things up a bit. Uh, like I said, your mileage will vary. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get all these going until we've got 10 of 10s, and we'll pick up there. All right, we've got them all up to 10 of 10. Let's see, six. Let's see, how much do we get from each one? I think it's a ridiculous amount of berries, honestly. Um, so we got basically two stacks. Two stacks, because this was at six. So two stacks and three. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, and then from this one right here, I don't know what we're going to get from that one. I think it's just... No, well, we got 9, 10, 11, 12, we got 3. So, let's see, 3 times 9 is 27, so we got 32, 33, 34, 35. I got 35 as opposed to 27, which, obviously there's some RNG in there as well, but um, needless to say, it is a much uh, faster growing crop, it's much, uh, it produces more crops, and uh, I think it'll let us more or less run our little production ring here a little bit better. Uh, you can see we have plenty of food now, just basically off this one crop, uh, a little bit off of that over there. Uh, and I'm curious to see how fast everything grows uh, now that everything's more or less on the same footing. Uh, we'll, we'll see how things go. Either way, we got some other stuff that we gotta do before the end of this video, so let's, uh, let's get to it. Uh, but before we do that, I wanna make another chest real quick. Actually, I don't think that's gonna work. I think we're gonna need a hopper, aren't we? Uh, hoppers are a chest with iron. How much iron do we have? We got plenty. Uh, do I not have wood on me at the moment? Let's go ahead and ditch this cobblestone. I don't need it. There it goes. Uh, I think I've got... Well, shit. Such, such inventory problems. I'm just... Just... Oh my god, mini wows. Uh, we'll take four, and then I need one more. There we go. And that should be enough to get everything that we need. There we go. There's the chest. And then I believe it's just boom, boom, boom. Been a while since I've made a hopper. Isn't that the hopper? Did we change a hopper? Did we really change a hopper? Did we, did we need to change a hopper? Are you shitting me? You need a basic gear? Four wood, four sticks. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. Actually, I'm going to complain a little bit, but, you know, I'm not going to let it, uh, let it ruin our amazingness. Oh, there we go. So I need boom. That should give me one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. That's the... Is that not the basic gear? Is it in reverse? No? That's it. Oh. I'm retarded. It looked like, uh, it looked like that to me, but it, it's not. Um, I don't know if it's stone or cobblestone. So, do I have any stone? I have both. All right, let's hope it's stone. It's not. All right, what about normal cobble? Will cobble work? Yes. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's uh, let's dump this at least for now. Kind of clear up a little bit of inventory space. Okay, and then we'll come over here. Where is the hopper? Gotcha. And we'll put you on top there, and then I'm just gonna load this up for now. Uh, might as well, whoops, and then we're going to put that in there, that should solve, that should solve all those problems, okie dokie. Alright, uh, it is time to knock out one of our other quests that we have, if I can stop clicking the uh, the, the fruit baskets, I don't know, they, they just keep wanting to jump in my tummy, it's, it's hard for me to, to ignore them. Uh, that should keep all of our power going though for now. Uh, and we'll put that in there for the moment. There we go. All right, should be good. Okay, so uh, one of the other easy things that I have been kind of postponing for some reason is the, where is it? Uh, the kitchenette, the kitchenette. So we've basically created pretty much everything. Uh, I'm not too concerned with most of the, wow, my tongue just is not working for me today. Uh, the cooking table, the cooking oven, and the sink. So let's find all of our stuff real quick. Let's do a quick sort. I'm gonna keep this in here. So we are gonna need our pot, our stew pot. 
let's see, cooking, there we go. So we need cooking oven and cooking table, I believe. Double check, cooking table, cooking oven. Okay, so the cooking table. We're gonna need a cooking book for blockheads, uh, and it does look like we're actually gonna need blocks of stained clay, which is a bit of a bummer. So if I want, how do I get hardened clay? So it's just clay that's been cooked, and then I can get that by doing gravel and dirt. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, we have, where did we put our hammer that we had? Let me clear this stuff off the hotbar real quick. Did I put it, where's the hammer? I know I've got a hammer around here somewhere. We will take you. Um, there it is. And then I'm gonna need some sticks. Might as well take some cobblestone. And we're gonna need a little bit of wood, which I think is in here. There we go, take the planks and I'll take that as well. Okay, and then I'll need a bucket here in a second, which surely to God I've got an, I think I, I don't actually have a bucket. Yeah, I, I don't think we actually do, which is fine. We got enough iron to make an extra. So let's do boom, 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 take that, got it. Uh, and then we'll just do one bucket of water. And then, where was it again? Clay is just, wait, no, 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 clay, shit. There was an easier recipe. Uh, there we go, it's just dirt and water. I'm hoping, yes, just dirt and water will give you clay blocks. Perfect. That's a much easier option than uh, what I was planning. I know we've got more dirt than this. We may not need more dirt than this, but I, I know we've got some around here somewhere. I'll put that right there. That gives us two clay blocks, which is perfect. Um, and then I just need to get black stained clay. Now, does it actually have to be hardened clay? Uh, which is just going to be clay blocks that have been cooked. So yeah, I am going to need more dirt than I guess. Well, shit. I know I've got more dirt around here somewhere. That's mud, which we're not going to convert. Uh, that's quicksand. Not going to do us any good. There's our dirt. I was about to be like, dude, I know I've got some. All right, perfect. Boom. So we put you here. You, boom, boom. There we go, and I need, I believe, a full batch of eight of these, if I'm not mistaken. So that's six, let's do one more batch. That should give us eight, there we go. And then that's what we'll surround once we cook it. So we'll go ahead and put that in there real quick. And that should give us hardened clay. Uh, and then I'm gonna need one piece of, where is the charcoal? Pervri pulverized coal dust, okay, perfect. So that's gonna give us the top half. Now I need to find this cooking for blockheads book. Uh, we did make this book. I'm almost 90% sure that I still have it somewhere. The question is where? I am going to be royally pissed if I ended up leaving that book back there. Um, there it is. Whew. Telling you what. All right, and then we're gonna need a bunch of actual wood, which is no problem. And then for this, we're gonna need a furnace, which I've got, we're gonna need some iron ingots, and then I'm actually gonna need black stained glass, which is no problem. So we're gonna break you down real quick. That gives us the furnace, and then I need uh, some glass. Do we actually have any glass left over, or did I get rid of it all? Well, I didn't get rid of it all, but shit. One, two, three. I think I only need three pieces, and of course we're gonna need the furnace to make that, which is funny because it's it's literally the only reason I still have this thing, is every time I need to make some, uh, what did I do with it? Every time I need to make some uh, glass, I have to pull this thing back out. There we go. That should be it. Actually, I think I need eight, don't I? Yeah, can we do a smaller sample? We can, yay. All right, and what were we getting out of here? There's our hardened clay. And then from that we surround with hopefully this, and that will give us that. Black stained clay, perfect. Which means I should theoretically be able to make that. Perfect, there's our cooking table. And then pull you out. Give me that, let's break you down. And then I need a couple more pieces of that, so we'll swap you with this, whoops. All right, so there's three pieces of that, three pieces of that that gives us the black stain that we need, and then I should be able to just boom, 
done. There's our cooking oven. All right, what was the last thing that we need here is a sink, okay. How hard could this be? So wood, a water bucket, and three iron ingots, uh, not a problem. So we just put you here. This is gonna take our bucket, but that's not a problem. We'll be able to do it again. And there we go. Recipe complete, which I can't, com I can't claim it yet because we got too much stuff going, not a problem. So we'll do this, boom, and then boom, and then cooking table. Perfect. All right. Good stuff. So I believe if I just, oh, it's pulling all of the stuff that are out of my inventory. So as long as I've got the stuff on my inventory, I believe it will yank it out and tell me, oh, and that just sprays water. That's cool. I like it. And then over here, we can put all of the different utensils, I think. Of course, I don't have any of those utensils. No big deal. Um, anyways, if I put all the utensils over there, I think it will let me cook them straight out of that, but I'm not entirely sure. I've honestly never messed with that mod before, so it's it's going to be kind of a learning process for me to kind of uh, experiment with, which is one of the nice thing about playing mod packs like this, is you do constantly kind of fool around with stuff that you've never messed around with before. Um, and then I guess we'll put you in there too. Perfect. Alright, where's our book? There we go. And we got to keep our, wa our, uh, our bucket, which makes me very happy. Okay, there's our fridge, which I guess... I, I honestly don't know what that's going to do for us, if anything. Um, let's put those items up in here for the time being. Uh, is there anything else on here? Of course. Now we need a saucepan. And that's going to give us brownies and bakeware, which is fine. We'll get to that here in a minute. Uh, we need to go out and kill... Do I still have my... I do. Oh, good! Hello. Nice to see you. Make sure nothing's like eating my ass. All right, we're solid. I'm gonna have to repair this soon, which I'm not looking forward to because I'm gonna have to figure out how to repair that. Uh, there's our wasp nest thingy. Okie dokie. Wasp nest block. This, I'm warning, is going to suck. Wow, look at that. I didn't realize I could just jump in there. Okay. I don't think I can do this while we'll try. Break it, 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 break it. Done. Is that the queen? Might as well, right? For some reason, I thought that was the queen. I don't know why. All right, we'll jump up here. That should clear us out of that, which is gonna be down here in the out of the Erebus options. Um, well, you, you only give me one reward. It's kind of interesting how that looks like it's got a sword, which is kind of weird. I don't understand why it's got that. All right, so let's look at this. Uh, crush rooms can be a tough opponent. They are known to attack anything that comes near. However, their hide can provide, uh, you'll find them in the fungal forest biome. Okay, so are we in the fungal? No, this is an underground jungle. I'm assuming this over here is the fungal forest. This is ulterior outback, fungal forest. So he's gotta be right around here somewhere because we're seeing him. There we go. Where are you, buddy? That's some big beetles and shit, which I don't really wanna mess with. I think there he is. I think that's the crush room. I'm almost positive that's the crush room. Oh, God. Okay, easy, easy. We're all right, we're all right. Let me get rid of that, sorry. See if I can't get him to come up here. Nope, that was not a crush room. Uh, that's a lot of damn beetles, though. No, those are ants of some kind. Are those zombie ants? Those are zombie ants. Perfect. One of the things we've needed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I don't know where this crush room thing is. Totally not seeing him. He's got to be big enough. What are these? Can you use finger mushrooms? Don't really care about those. Those are big. Don't care about those either. Where the fuck is this crush room thing? Thinking down here, maybe? 
Um, not seeing anything moving that's a mushroom. Yeah. Oh god, I need to double check that real quick. I need to be careful. Okay, we're fine for the moment. Yeah, I'm not seeing... What about this over here? This looks... No, that's, that's just a tree. I mean, he's around. I just don't know how to find him. That's the only problem. Hmm. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a bit of a challenge, my friends. Uh, I need to go down there and kill those uh, dragonflies, though, for that part of the quest. Let me come over here real quick and break these. Because we're going to need these here. All right, there we go. Done. Land. All right. Let's convert these real fast into more fuel. There we go. How are we doing on food? Eat up real quick. Yeah, it's kind of annoying when you have to kill something and, like, you can see it, but you don't know where it is exactly. All right. Hang on. Let's just get shit. No, 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 no. Oh, this is going to suck. Yep, yep. Hi. All right. Let's just get right to it. Oh, hello. Hello, buddies. Hello. Yeah, you can't grab me, apparently, in the water, which I'm very thankful for, actually. There we go. Oh, fuck. Get off me. All right, what do we got down here? Anything special? Uh, jade leggings, don't really care about I will take the exoskeleton pieces. You can keep that. I don't need vacuum, too. Uh, I will take the block, and that should... Unlock. Do we get it? Okay, it's over here in Erebus. So we have now gotten the zombie ants. And we've gotten the fresh water. So what is this here? The void is making travel pretty difficult. The best way to handle this may be placing teleporters around the world to easily get back and forth. First, we'll need the components. Uh, t okay. How do you get a teleporter core? Tell, uh... Whoops, I guess it would help if I could spell, huh? Teleporter core needs ender essences and a diamond and ender essences ender pearl so just put a sag mill that's easy wow that's that's actually very easy okay all right not too concerned about that oh there he is is that him that's him holy shit holy shit what's up buddy you are a big evil looking son of a bitch yeah that's him Oh, God. Yes, I, I plan on cheesing this in case you guys were curious. Fuck, fuck fighting fair. There we go. Just stay there. Let me kill you, please. You, you, oh, what the fuck? You just stole my sword? Um, it's down there on the ground. Okay. Did he just heal? Oh, God. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pick him up. There we go. He just keeps knocking them off. Okay, I need to kill those other things. I don't like the fact that he keeps disarming me. I need to kill these things real quick. Wow, there's a lot of these things. Jesus. There we go. Alright, pick all that up. Where's my sword? There we go. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to move you up and you down. Okay, where is that little fucker? All right. He heals. No, he didn't. Okay, he's not healed. He doesn't hurt bad. Ish. Okay, he's almost dead. No. And you're gone. Jesus. Okay. Did that give us credit? Please? Yeah! Oh, fuck. Okay. Um... I don't think I have enough inventory space. No, I don't. Uh, I need to make sure I've gotten everything out of this. Hang on. Okay. Let's just put uh, you, 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 you. Um, zombie ants. What is this? An epic shader grab bag? I don't even fucking know what that is. All right. Sort. Uh, let's put you on the hotbar real quick and open you real fast. Giant sword? Um... I have no interest. I, I think those are just... I, I got those in another LP before, and I think they're just really, really, really big. So... Um, mushroom helm, mushroom leather. Don't really care, honestly. Kind of nice, I guess. 
This is Kaiser Fingers Mushroom. Okay, don't really care about that either. Let's get up above. Sorry, my flight didn't work for a second. It almost was like I was really, really heavy. Okay. And let's just double check and make sure everything's good. Okay, we can pick just a random one. There we go. Uh, we got to kill the tarantula mother, and then we're going to have to kill all the rest of these. What is this? Uh, locust can provide elastic fire. I've already killed a locust. You want me to kill another locust? That's kind of hateful, man. That's kind of hateful. Maximum speed bow. I'm not going to lie. That, that actually sounds pretty cool. Um, what do we get here? A scarecrow. Really? Really? Dicks. All right. Let's go. All right. We're going to fly up. I do kind of like this sword. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of sick. Seems to do some pretty decent damage. Um, and I think we'll probably end up working on the teleporter core in the next episode or so. Uh, that being said, I need to find my way home. And I need to... Good God. Look at that. Look at that. That is infesting rather quickly. Uh, we're probably going to have to relocate again here pretty quick, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's okay. We did make some pretty good progress. I'm pretty happy with uh, what we managed to knock out. And most importantly not dead yet. I honestly think we're probably set at this point. I don't think we're not bumping into anything that I'm really afraid is going to be able to kill us yet. So I think we're probably good. We've almost made a million RF at this point. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I think, I think we're doing good stuff, my friends. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.